Hey everybody, I wanted to show uh, how well uh, Autopilot does on curves. Got some uh, decent curves coming up. And I'm going to dial down to, uh, let's say, 5 miles over the curve speed, which is 30 here. Um, just to show how well it does. So here's the first left turn, uh, left curve. And then uh, there's another one coming up here. This one's a little sharper, still a 30, I'm doing 35. Takes no problem. Got my hands on the wheel. Gonna speed up here a little bit because it's a straightaway. And then we got two more sharp turns coming up. I'll dial down to, let's take these at, uh, let's take them at 35 over. This one's a little line-wise, a little tougher. There it goes. Goes a little on the left side. This one's a pretty sharp one, so we'll see if it makes it here. And it does perfect. And then we've got a little hill. Keeps the lines there going over that hill. That's really nice. A little break because that car uh, jumped in front of us. Now I can speed it up a little bit. But I just wanted to show you those tur curves. Um, I think at a little higher speed, it might have had some trouble. It might have uh, crossed the line. But uh, at the proper speed, and what's uh, I think going to be challenging is knowing uh, it needs to be able to read those speed signs, or it needs to know the navigation of the curves, how sharp they are. I don't know whether um, it's going to read the speed limit signs or uh, read the uh, maps to understand the sharpness of those curves. It'll be interesting to see what uh, self-driving does. But um, key issue with autopilot, and you really shouldn't use it in this situation, so I apologize. Um, but autopilot is expecting you to uh, adjust your speed accordingly. So the, the big difference, I think, between autopilot and self-driving is that uh, self-driving needs to be able to understand the road and the curves uh, and know to slow down. Uh, autopilot will not slow down, although I have seen it slow down, but it slows down once it gets into a curve, um, but that's usually too late. So uh, it'll actually be interesting to see if autopilot does release the uh, the. Uh, the knowledge to slow down going into curves or reading curve uh, reduced speed sign. This was a stretch of road I was driving the other day and uh, notice that right there the car starts slowing down prior to the turn and so I don't know whether the Tesla is understanding to slow down uh, from the GPS or from the road sign that we passed. Talk care. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. So, uh, one of my spotlights got uh, stuck in the socket, so I had to go up into the attic and uh, lower down the hi hat and then uh, fix the socket and replace the bulb. Had to disconnect the wire to get it uh, out. And uh, I'm going to go back up into the attic and uh, lift that up and uh, secure it. Fun, fun. Here's my attic access. Here's my attic. Gotta climb way over there. Let's go for an adventure. Make sure, step on the struts. See, I sort of cleared out my path, so I was up here once already. It's a high hat. It's not the one I need. What I need is way over that way. Make our way through this. Go through here. I think that's a yeah, that's a hole there. Uh, this is tough. I'm gonna go underneath this piece here. I'm not as young as I used to be. Wood. Close, it's right there. So this is where I gotta pull up the uh, hi hat and secure it in here. Just to prove I am where I am. <laughs> I 
That's a view from the ceiling. Got it mounted. Looks like it's uh, gonna hold. Got my antenna up here. I had a uh, UHF antenna for the original uh, HD <coughs> signal. Had it mounted up on the roof for a while, but I found I could uh, mount it in here and get the same reception. Got an attic fan, it's broken, I gotta go fix that. Work, work, work. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thanks again for watching. My videos uh, for the Model 3 are here in the top right. My son's channel, The Nerd Writer, is in the top left. Check him out. He's got some really good videos. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.